Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about jeans. I want to find the perfect pair of jeans for my body style. It's something that's really challenging because I'm five foot one, I'm pear shaped, so there's an 11 inch difference in my waist versus my hips. And so that makes it super challenging to find the right pair of jeans. Not only that, but I have a longer torso and shorter legs. So finding the right combination there is even more tricky to trying to just have the right pair of jeans that really fit my curves. So if you are either petite or pear shaped or hourglass shaped, I think that this will be a good video for you. Otherwise you can sort of compare, you know, my measurements and my sizes um, to your own and figure out what works best for you. I'm gonna be probably doing this with different brands if that's something you guys are interested in. But for today, I'm reviewing a Goldie. It's a brand that I am new to and I wanted to just try a few of their different kinds. And out of those kinds, I want to either return ones that don't work or exchange them for a different size. And let's get started so this intro isn't too long. <laughs> the first pair that I'm showing is the 90s mid-rise loose fit jeans. Um, this one is in the size 25, and I also got the size 24, which I'm actually wearing today. Here, I've got it in this color Affair, and I do really like the shade of it. I like how there's minimal whiskering, even though it's kind of pictured differently on their website. There really isn't a lot of contrast or whiskering or distressing that are happening on this pair of jeans um, in either shade. They're very consistent where there is distressing on each pair I've been noticing. What whiskering does is it creates little lines that are distressing lines on your hips, which is right on my widest point. And I personally am just looking to have something without whiskering. So just kind of judge that for your own body shape too. If you want to add a little bit more curves there, then whiskering might be perfect for you. So this style is supposed to be worn looser, but if you prefer to have something a little bit on the tighter side, then I would go a size down. I would actually say that in other brands I'm a size 26, but here I'm actually going to a 24. So use that as, you know, you're judging your own sizes for that. But there's some other things that are happening here. Number one, there's zero stretch in this. This is 100% cotton. And then also the rise on this is amazing. It's called a mid-rise, but it actually really isn't. It's one of my highest rise jeans at, I think it's, let me look here, 12.5 inch rise. And then the inseam is 29. So that's really great. Um, but the problem is that right now I don't have a tailor where I can just get them hemmed up at all. So I would have to wear these with heels, but later on, maybe a few months, I'll be able to take these to the tailor and get a couple of inches removed, maybe one to two inches. And other than that, I would say that the waist is incredibly loose and that's really why I went down to a size 24. Uh, for me, I think that that's another great thing that you can do at a tailor if you know one day we all have the ability <laughs> to again, um, but then they can just cinch the waist in the back with a couple of little uh, spots where they're gonna cinch it and that's pretty much all it takes It doesn't take a great deal of, of effort to be able to cinch the waist a little bit So I'm always looking for where does it fit me on and how well does it fit me on my hips? Next is a different variety of the same pair of jeans. This is in the variety called Fallout, and this is a size 24, um, but I also got a size 25. I would say that this one seems even looser though than the ones before. Um, I could have sized down even one more if I wanted to, and let me just put them on real quick. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I love about these is the distressing. I think that they are so just really out of my comfort zone. I usually like things chic and structured, um, and this one is just pushing my boundaries like crazy. I love the fact that they are a looser fit because I think any time that I've worn a jean that has holes as substantially as this, um, they're too tight. And so wearing a looser version is really good. They're supposed to be worn loose. Uh, but I still think I could have sized down even one more just because it seems a little bit loose in different parts. But at the same time, I kind of like that they're a little bit loose. So maybe I will stick with the 24s. Um, one thing too is that where the holes hit my knees is actually where they're supposed to hit, which is also very rare whenever I've tried jeans with holes in them. When I first tried them on, I fell in love with the backs of them, just how it tapers and also the way that it just makes my booty look awesome. And so that's why I really was thinking toward getting another 
another pair of these to try a smaller size so that's why I ended up getting the 24s um, I think overall I think it would be important to go down like try to think about going down as small as you can in your sizes because this is really a loose oversized fit and I think that while I appreciate the looser look it can go quickly overboard for my body style I also did try the white version as well this is called white out and it isn't completely white it looks like it's like just a little bit on the ivory side and I usually like my white jeans to be very crisp again but having this distressed look was something very fun to try I think I just prefer to have the blue version so I think I'm going to be sticking with this version but these ones were incredible. I like the fact that having a white jean with these holes is a looser fit. That's another beautiful way to wear it instead of having something that's gripping you too tightly, especially with holes because you don't want, you know, it to feel too snug and then uncomfortable and kind of like gushing out of it like sometimes my knees do. So Next is this crisscross version. It's in the color Suburbia. <laughs> and I just was really hoping that these ones would look incredible, but I actually was quite disappointed in how they looked on me. I just don't think that they really work at all um, for several reasons. So these are incredibly unique in how they are formed because they are in this crisscross pattern. There's buttons just everywhere. <laughs> and I do think that they're so cool. They're much different than anything I've really tried before. For. And I do think that the fit of it, it feels very loose. It feels incredibly just cozy if you're looking for a slouchy sort of pair of jeans. Um, but I just don't think that these ones are doing me any justice. I just feel kind of like it looks sloppy, almost a little unintentional at a glance. And uh, I don't know, I'm just not enthralled with the way that it looks. If I were like five inches taller than I am, I could definitely try these and love them. But I feel like because they're a 31 inch inseam that the way that this is structured is just not for somebody my height. And also I love a good high rise jean as high as I can take it because it evens out my proportions a lot because I have that longer torso and shorter legs. So maybe you're the opposite and having something that's like a mid-rise or low-rise is what you want. I would say that these could be classified as a mid-rise pant because their rise is at 10, 10 inches, 10.75 inches. Um, so anything below 11 inches is really not ideal for me. They're also super loose in the waist and even in the hips. So there's not much I can do without going another size down. And I just don't really feel like they were intended to be worn that tightly either. I think they're supposed to be a looser fit. So I just don't think that this style in general is working for me. And there's very little I can do when it comes to tailoring for this. So let's try some borderline skinny jeans for you guys who absolutely love skinny jeans or stretch jeans. These are the Nico high rise slim fit jeans. Right away, some extremely redeeming qualities is that your butt will look amazing in these. They just cup the, the cheeks just very nicely. <laughs> For the hem, this is a beautiful hem where they have almost a raw hem, but not quite. In the front, it isn't a raw hem at all. And then up the sides, it's slit there, uh, right in the middle inseam part. Um, so what is really great about that is that this is not something that's too long, but it is probably an inch longer for me. And that's sort of a drawback because there's no way that I could get this exactly tailored to be the way I wanted to without extreme expense or headache or, you know, just over complication of that. And because I like that so much, it's a little bit difficult for me to try to make this purchase. But let's say that that's an absolutely incredible inseam for you, then I would definitely look into these. Uh, I am a little bit concerned when it comes to a stretch jean if it's going to stretch out too much over time versus something that has zero stretch. And so I'm a little bit on the fence about the size to get. So I will say that these are the most comfortable jeans that I have ever worn. They are so soft. It has to be because it's 32% organic cotton and that already is going to feel so incredibly comfortable. And then having that little bit of a stretch just makes it incredibly uh, just contouring but not too tight. So again, I'm still on the fence about the sizing. If I go to a 24, that's gonna be way too tight for now, but maybe you know, after a few months of wearing it, it could you know, open up a little bit more. 
So I think I would get a 25 in this, which is one size down, um, and I'd feel safe about doing that. Again, I'm just a little bit on the fence about where the hem is hitting me, and I could bring that up, but I just really don't wanna ruin that beautiful look there. But you could wear them with heels, and the rise is 11.25 inches, which really isn't that bad at all in my books. I could go for a 12, but. <laughs> Next is the pinch waist high rise kick crop, which is an 80s dream. I think that there's so many things about it that are sort of this old school vibe, and yet it still is an incredibly classic jean. So one thing that's really cool for anybody out there who is hourglass or pear shaped is that these ones actually, you know, they're true to their name. They have a pinch waist, which means that they're gonna be much tighter across your waistline, and then they're gonna get wider and have this beautiful curve. Uh, but there are some disqualifiers for me too, so I wanna review those. So these are a 26. I could probably go down one size because across the board, it seems like with a Goldie, I am one size down from normal. So instead of a 26, I'm going with the 25. I'll probably exchange these ones out because they are just a little bit loose in places where I'm not going to have a tailor one day, <laughs> hopefully alter them, especially in the hip, like they are looser. So if you want something that's looser, then you could go with your natural size. Um, but I think that I'm gonna size down in these eventually. Another thing that is not so great about them is that the inseam is probably one to two inches longer again um, than I would prefer them to be and to sort of match more what they have on the site on models. But if I do that, what's going to happen is I'm going to lose this beautiful little flare that they have at the bottom of these jeans. And I think that that flare is actually important because it is complementing the curves that are happening up here. So they've done a really good job in creating a classic jean where it's got a regular zipper, it's got a cinched waist like this, like that's just, it's fitting like a dream. It's just a little bit on the looser side. And if I go down one size, it's gonna be perfect. And then it's just got this beautiful curve here. And then also just like, there's so many classic things about the color, I could just go on. But I'm just not sure about if this is the right jean for me because of the length. Next is the Remy high rise straight jean, and this one is in a 26. Again, I'm thinking about going down to a 25 now that I've learned this lesson about which size to get at a Goldie. Uh, one thing about them is that they do have a raw hem, and it's not something that's a flare, so I could just easily crop those up a little bit myself or take them um, to a tailor one day, but this could be something that really could work for me in a lot of different ways. Okay, these are a little bit more comfortable just because they have a 1% elastane factor to them, which is just a little bit less stretchy than the Nikos before. So that's kind of a good rule of thumb. Like this is something that will be comfortable. It does have a little bit of room and stretch and comfort to it. But again, I would just say that with the fact that it does have a little bit of that stretch factor to it, I think I definitely should size down one more just so that with time, they're not going to stretch out too much. They're already a little bit on the roomy side so I definitely could fit a 25 again in these ones. I think that I'm not really in love with these ones as much though just because of the butt. It doesn't really look quite as flattering as some of the other options. I can't really dissect why I feel that way except it's just more of a gut reaction to them and I think overall this is a good jean. I think that it's a classic. It just looks a little bit too loose on me and that could just entirely be about sizing. One more thing, the rise on these are 11 and a half and it has a button fly as well. Lastly, I have the Rileys and this is a high rise straight crop jean. I would say there are I was just so close to getting these ones and keeping them, but I'm just not sure I'm going to, so let me explain why. Okay, so these are a very cozy 26. <laughs> I would say that because they are a zero stretch, they're a tight fitting pant, that this is actually something that I would go a 26 or even one up from that because the rest of them seem very loose fitting and trendy and some of them are stretchy. This one's not stretchy, it's tight fitting. I would say that it's gonna be perfect for someone who has more of a straight up and down body style because right now it's giving me just a little bit of this like love handles effect here. And so one thing that I really do like about it is the way that it is tight fitting and the way that the pockets are, the butt just is probably the best looking out of all of the rest of them. So 
this would be a contender if it was one size up for me, but I still am just on the fence whenever it comes to something like that. I want it to be just right, and I'm not sure that this one is. One really great thing about it is the inseam. It's absolutely perfect for someone who is around my height. You could wear this if it was if you're taller and you want it to have more of a cropped effect, you could definitely do that. But straight out of the box, I would say that the inseam is amazing and there will be no need for you to really get them hemmed. There's some slight whiskering that's happening here, which of course is not ideal for me, but then also the rise is beautiful at around 11 and a half, could be a little bit higher, of course, again. And then I would say that the fit of them, if you've ever tried the Redun's stovepipe jeans, they feel very similar to that. So they are probably just because they're not stretchy, they're a little bit tight, they're a higher rise, all of those things, I feel like I'm wearing my Redun's right now. They're not going to be the most comfortable pairs that you get, but I would say that they look good. So great for like a date night out, or you know maybe if you had just a different body style than me perhaps a little bit, or if you went like two sizes up from what you normally get from a Goldie, that's another possibility. But yeah, those were my reviews for each one. Let me know if you like this sort of video by giving it a thumbs up. And also in the comments, let me know a different brands that you want me to try out and do a full review of. And I will leave on the end screen which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm returning. And with that, I hope you guys have an excellent day. Bye.